Stella, the Essex collection of art from Latin America, and also England and Co. Gallery. Uh, we've got a good set of talks planned today and tomorrow. Uh, today is some of the artist curators forum, and then tomorrow we have the collections forum. So I hope you can all come along, and thank you to Pinter and all our supporters, and look forward to seeing you in the next few days. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to introduce Catherine Petitgar now, just to say a few words, and then we'll go on to the first talk. Thank you very much, Miriam. Uh, my name is uh, Catherine Petigas, and I must say uh, I'm particularly pleased and proud that you asked me to introduce uh, today's forum, that is a forum of uh, artists and curators, and not tomorrow's forum, that is, which is the collections uh, forum, because of course I am primarily a collector, but uh, I also uh, like to think that I'm uh, perhaps just a bit more than a collector, so thank you very much, and, and also it's an incredibly prestigious panel, so I'm very pleased to, to do this. Maybe just to say a little bit, um, uh, a few words about how I see the Latin American uh, scene uh, from a collector's point of view um, in London. Uh, so I said that I collect, and I collect um, primarily uh, Latin American works, um, about 95% I would say of our collection uh, is works from Latin America. We have about 350 pieces, it's not a big collection, it's quite, a, I hope, selective, uh, but um, uh, it's a growing collection, of course. Um, I'm also an academic, um, I have actually, um, uh, at least I, I like to think that I am. I have a, a master's from the Koto Institute, and I've um, done a lot of courses. I'm also a lecturer and a guide at the Tate, and I try to uh, write, I'm currently writing a book or editing a book of Latin American, of art from Brazil, contemporary art from Brazil, so I like to do this, but perhaps the role that I'm the proudest of is my role as a patron. Uh, I strongly believe that um, as a collector you have a duty uh, to support the institutions that um, follow, that uh, are interested in the collections that, uh, that you are building. And, and as it happens, there is a fairly vibrant, a fairly active scene in terms of uh, exhibitions, of Latin American exhibitions in London. And I'm sure that's what uh, our panel is going to talk about in more details. But because I have this Latin American slot, this Latin American uh, specialization, um, I must admit that I'm often solicited to support uh, Latin American exhibitions and I'm afraid that I uh, also seldom say no. Uh, I shouldn't really say that, <laughs> but anyway, perhaps to give you an idea of uh, 2011 only, uh, I think that uh, that year we uh, supported the Abraham Cruz Villegas exhibition in at Roma, Oxford, uh, the Gabriel Curry at uh, South London Gallery, uh, the Peripatetic School, uh, an exhibition of nine um, uh, Latin American artists curated by Tanya Barson of the Tate, which I guess we may talk about later on. Uh, that was at the drawing room in London, uh, and of course uh, at the Tate, uh, Ilya will talk a bit more about No Loan Zone, uh, the exhibition of, uh, art, um, of four artists from Latin America that just closed at the uh, formerly known as Level 2 and now Project Space uh, Gallery, which uh, my husband and I have been uh, supporting for five years. Uh, so that's just a sample, I think, a few other of the um, important exhibitions that I've been pleased to support were by Rivane Neutschreiner at the South London Gallery. Again, I think the, the, the funds that we put uh, in there enabled her to realize something that was extraordinary, that pushed the limits of the institution, and I think uh, it was uh, very satisfying uh, as a collector to enable an artist a piece that is not at all a collectible piece, and I think that was, uh, that was quite uh, rewarding. And perhaps just uh, to create a connection with, uh, with what the panel may, may have to say, oh yes, of course, this year we've uh, also supported uh, at Chisanel the Amaya Pika exhibition that, uh, that just opened uh, earlier in May. Uh, the Hayward has been doing quite a few exhibitions, uh, and Estonet and others which we haven't been involved in, but uh, maybe in the future. Uh, but perhaps as a by way of, uh, of connection, I'm often asked uh, why Latin America in London, and of course in passing I should uh, note that I'm French, uh, maybe you have gathered that, but anyway, um, and so why, why Latin America in London? 
and um, it is actually, uh, as I said, um, as uh, you may have noticed from the exhibitions, the few exhibitions that I've uh, mentioned, and these are only the ones I've been involved in, there were more, of course, um, there, there is uh, um, always a fairly uh, dynamic scene. Uh, I'm sure maybe you will address the reason why uh, Latin America is so vibrant uh, in London. Maybe I could give one or two pointers as to why I think this is the case. I think the Tate has played a major role in starting a Latin American collection uh, fairly early on, uh, in, 20, well, in 2001, really. So the, the exhibition, the, 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 the Tate Fund for Latin America is now in its 11th year. Um, and that, I think, has been a, a major source of inspiration. Uh, I think the presence of artists, we are going to uh, hear a few, and of curators, such as Kiki, Pablo Leon de la Barra, Yaya, quite a few specialist curators in London, has also played a major role. And, uh, and I just hope that uh, this uh, remains the case, as uh, I think uh, seeing uh, Latin America through the prism of uh, the British art uh, is incredibly inspiring. So anyway, on that note, uh, I hope that uh, the panel might give their own thoughts uh, on those few points. And again, thank you very much for inviting me to say a few words. Thanks a lot. I'm going to try to be very brief because um, today we have um, three curators from like, very important institutions in London and uh, we have very little time for each speaker so I'm going to try to brush it today so we can listen to you. Um, so the idea for this panel uh, emerged in a conversation with Miriam. Um, and uh, the idea was uh, to try and reflect a little bit about uh, exactly what uh, Katahin mentioned before, but the, uh, the vibrancy of Latin American art and its uh, increasing exposure, not only in the London art scene, but also globally. And um, in order to introduce them, I'm going to speak a little bit and show you some images very quickly of um, an exhibition that I worked on last year. Uh, called Mythologias, Mythologies, which was actually an, an exhibition about Brazilian art, but which reflected on, on this um, uh, in relation to Brazilian art, but uh, which I think can be expanded to, to Latin America to a certain extent, about this increasing visibility and uh, this increasing interest, this increasing international interest on uh, Latin America. In the case of Mythologies, this was an exhibition uh, commissioned by the uh, Ministry of uh, Foreign Relations in Brazil, the Itamaraji. So in, 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 this, in this sense, it was an exhibition that um, the only, the only uh, kind of pointers that they gave to me when they commissioned me to do the exhibition was uh, you need to, uh, we want an exhibition of emerging Brazilian art. And then the first question was, okay, so uh, what do we see today as uh, this, this official uh, emerging Brazilian art? And what, what is it that the country wants to show? And it was, it was kind of trying to play a little bit with the, this idea. And hence the title, so it was uh, trying to look into the internal mythologies related to Brazilian art. And into a kind of uh, sense that uh, the, uh, the, the exposure of Brazilian art abroad was usually related to one, uh, one particular strand of it, uh, of, co uh, of contemporary art, which is the abstract geometric uh, legacy, which is the most widely uh, known abroad. So the idea was trying to tap into other genealogies uh, in Brazilian historiography, and also relating to to ideas of territory, uh, ideas coming from literature, and so trying to examine this, uh, this variety of mythologies associated to Brazilian art. And um, so I'm, I'm just going to flip through those images very quickly. So there were uh, Lots of, of course, there was this idea of the ab uh, abstract geometric legacy as well, but uh, 
there, there are other, uh, like this work here by Roberto Inter and Jason Joubert, was one of the two works in the exhibition that actually dealt with this, um, with this kind of temporary arch that separates Brazilian art in the 50s when, he, you know, when this abstract geometric production emerged. And the moment that Brazil is going through now, this like huge economic um, progress, and so try to associate these two moments and, and think about what's different between the two of them. So in this, uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the exhibition. I'm just going to show you the images of the works there in blue. I'll show a little bit of that. This is Pablo Leon de la contribution. He was the only. Uh, non-Brazilian participant uh, and he did this kind of um, this map of uh, the tropical art which is it's very interesting in the context of this discussion actually because it's like trying to create a different genealogy of uh, uh, Latin, mostly Latin American art based on the, on the previous diagrams of, uh, of modern uh, North American modern art So in this sense, uh, this this was like one of the uh, like you know, uh, first attempts to, to try and reflect upon this Brazilian legacy in the present moment when you know Brazilian art has had so much exposure and it's everywhere in every biennial, every, uh, people are having solo shows, and important institutions abroad as they were not ten years ago. So it was a, trying to reflect upon this change as well. And um, so I think we could take this um, this idea uh, and try to expand it to Latin American art. These are some installation shots of the exhibition. And maybe the three curators here, the idea is that you also speak a little bit about your experience as um, non-Latin Americans working for British institutions and how do you go on about um, working in your projects which involve Latin American arts. So I'm going to present the three of them now. Uh, our first speaker is Iria Candela. She's an assistant curator at Tate Modern and a member of Tate's Latin American Acquisitions Committee. In 2010, she curated the project Present Memory by Uruguayan artist Alejandro Cesarco, and more recently, the group exhibition No uh, No Long No Long No Long with contemporary artists from Latin America. She's currently working at Tate's forthcoming show on Mira Shendo in 2013, having previously worked on the Gabriel Orozco retrospective in 2011. Candela obtained her PhD at the Universidad Autónoma de Madrid and her MA at Columbia University of New York. The English edition of her book, of her book Contraposiciones Arte Contemporáneo in Latin America, 1990-2010, will be published by Tate next year. And then we have uh, Richard Perry, who's a curator and writer based in London. He's currently assistant curator at the Hayward Gallery where he has curated and organized numerous large and small scale exhibitions, including Psycho Buildings, 2008, uh, Walking in My Mind, 2009, The New Decor, 2010, Concrete Poetry, and Tracy Emin, both 2011. This summer, he's a curator for Wide Open School, a unique project turning the Hayward into a temporary school with a curriculum designed and implemented by over 100 international artists. And the third speaker is James Stevens, uh, who's a London-based curator and is currently exhibitions and events organizer at the Chisholm Hale Gallery, where he has worked on a number of high-profile exhibitions and events with artists including Peter Stereo, Christina Mackey, Josephine Pride, Harun Mirza, and Elizabeth Price. He will shortly take up a, a new post as curator of Cubit Gallery, an artist-run space in North London. Stevens also co-edits the publishing project Benedictions and previously worked as a producer for Turner Prize nominated artists in the Orphanage Group. So I'm going to pass the word to